Merci, super. This is the Sunday street of Bordeaux in Paris. It's so quiet. Yeah. Oh, and this uh, open on drizzling. Some 11. of the shops here are closed and some will open at 11 a.m. So now we are walking, waiting for Apple Store to open. So you want to buy something? <laughs> Copper. Okay, let's go back to look for the apple store. <laughs> oh, that's a brand of goods. I didn't pass by that yesterday. Okay. Shall we go to that street? This is Uniqlo, it's a very big store here. Let's walk. Oh. It's cold but it's a nice walk. Yeah. Do you agree? Yes. My blogger. <laughs> very cool. That very nice. So we are waiting to take a train back to Paris to spend another few more nights. I see that here a lot of the dog lovers because we can see dogs everywhere with the owner of course. Way back. Oh, that's right. Yeah. This way back. So this Bordox is very good for pictures. And of course, when you come to Bordox, Paris, you must visit the vineyard because I was told there's about 5,000 wood vineyards in Bordeaux. Yesterday, we visit St. Emelon for pictures and the picture turned out to be really pretty yes, because nice. the weather is very good and very kind to us it rains then stops yeah the rains here usually you have drizzle for like five ten minutes and then the sun will be out then on and off it drizzles again <laughs> so we have big pharmacy here they can do your oh. ART if you need to do ART before you leave for your countries. And we see a group of people here buying some bread for the breakfast before they leave. You can see all of the small luggage. I think they're going to the train station. And these are the streets. And Looks like we reach Apple Store because. My iPad Pro is not working fine for me. So but still not yeah, yet. yeah. And here is where the tram is. We can take the tram. You pay only five euro from one. One bus. Stop. One no, from one. You can five euro. It can go to and fro and return. And the Sunday morning, you can see people taking break or chill at the cold weather and here this is the opera house it will light up in the evening and it's really beautiful you can see the clock here and this is the hotel that we are staying for the last few nights is the um, intercontinental Bordeaux
This is the Intercontinental Grand Hotel de Border where we stayed for the last few nights. And you can see these are the surroundings. Isn't it so beautiful? And it's really very convenient because we have shops around here, restaurants, cafe, everything. And here I take we have a look at the opera house again because it will light up in the evening and it's really beautiful. So we're taking a few more minutes to enjoy the view here in Bordeaux and uh, come look, walk, walk around here. It's not raining. So when you come to Bordeaux, it's best that you stay at the Intercontinental Grand Hotel de Bordeaux because it's very convenient and uh, it's very secure because if you can see I'm walking to this uh, this bullet this is the bullet the car can only enter if they have guests entering the hotel if not outside cars are not allowed to enter the hotel compound the hotel lobby okay and this is what I'm going to show you most of the hotels here are quite pretty and these are the back lane next to the hotel it's very good for pictures and you can see and this is a merry-go-round if you want to ride if you get drunk you just sit there and just <laughs> the merry-go-round will bring you round and round and you can see this man I think bringing the flower to the girlfriend you know? and see this is the place This is DG Ray Ann. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. Yeah. DG Ray Ann, please subscribe to my channel. Yes. We're behind the opera. Yes. She is my DG Ray Ann. She is my assistant for this trip. And she is also doing blogging for Paris and Bordeaux. Yes. You can visit her website or the web YouTube channel at DG Ray Ann. Or my the other blogger is Ruth Rufi. Ruth Rufi is another, she's now in another part of Paris. So we will be meeting her after this. So say goodbye. Annyeong.